Hi everybody, how are you doing today? We're going to go into our class straight away, so I'm going to put some music on first. <coughs> Make sure you're wearing comfortable clothes, and if you just isolate the hips with this calf, that's kind of nice. So when you push the hips, you can really feel the muscles. We're going to stand heels under the hips. Just go one knee forward, other knee backwards. So the knees go front and back. This is uh, harder if the feet are closer together. It's a bit easier if the legs are a little bit wider. But you can do what you want to do. So if you want to go feet together to try that one. So you see how your hips are pushing to the sides a little bit more. Because the, based on the, what which we stand becomes narrower, then your hips has to go more side. So kind of it moves a bit more. Then you can make them look a little bit more isolated. I'm always engaging my core anyway. Front, back, front, back, front, back, front, back. Now I'm going to add a heel. I go here, here, and here. And notice, notice how the hip goes forwards forwards, forwards, and then one goes up, one goes down. Just find a movement with the arms, just framing the body, wherever you want. Try to keep your chest up. Elongating my spine, relaxing my shoulders, and I'm gonna add some rotations on my wrists here. One heel up, other heel down. Not doing too much too quickly today. We're gonna warm into it a little bit more. Now go heels down again. I'm gonna open my legs a little bit wider. So now you notice the difference. I can really push one side, other side, one side, other side. It's almost like it's giving me a little bit more rotation on my torso, and I'm gonna get the arms and my shoulder. Other shoulder, one shoulder, other shoulder. There you go. Elongate your neck. Try to remember to engage your core muscles. Now, just the same thing with the hands. We're circling. Yeah, so you've got hips, legs, shoulders, hands all going together. Now, stop here. Shoulder rotations back. So I'm going to steady with my heels and then pull my shoulders. Just try to imagine there's, your elbows are being pulled back. So the chest comes up and the shoulders move a little bit more. Now go opposite direction. You need to rotate your body forwards a little bit more to get the shoulders to come forwards. So you go forwards both together. You see, you round your spine. Now come back. Now rotate forwards. And then back. Forwards. And I'm back. I'm trying not to use my elbows. They're moving a bit, but I'm not leading with my elbows. Okay, so I get more movement in my upper spine. And one more. And then hang in here. Just roll the body down. Relax. And then roll your body up. Up, 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 up. And relax. Good. Now we're going to go side to side with the chest. If you hold the hands on the hips and pull your head up, we can just move one way and move the other way. And again, push your chest. One side, other side. One side, other side. Now we go front and back. Front and back. And front and back. Front and back. Now we're gonna go front, side, back, side. One, side, back, side. Front, Side, back, side, other way, front, side. So you're learning to move different directions. You're not using the same muscle over and over. So you're trying to become more balanced. I'm cracking my back already this morning. I'm coming. 
and relax. Good. Now going back to knees, front and back. Front and back. Get the feet together if you can. Just notice what's happening on the sides. Front and back. Legs are wider, front and back. Now the arms open, shoulders front and back. Same as the legs and the hips. Let's try to add the hands, circle out. It's harder when everything goes together, so try. And relax. Shake the shoulders. So you're going front and back with the shoulders. Then you're gonna let your boobs a little bit closer so you can feel that shake. Not too much because it will hurt. So do a little at a time. And we relax. Now let's go to shimmy on the knees. Front back, front back. Now you can go so fast so you don't see the legs move. Everything else starts moving here. Go, 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 breathe. Relax the shoulders. Chest up, belly is engaged. Circle. Now I'm bending my knees all the way through. Do you see one leg goes front, one leg goes back? When the circle, they have it. Now we're gonna go double time. Again, my knees are pushing the hip up. Circle right. Here we go. Double time. If you bend your knees, it's easier to go faster. Hips right. Left. Isolate through the core. Circle left. Double time. Now this time we're gonna drop. Drop. So if you lift the heel, then drop it back down. 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 I clench my bum to bring the hip in. So you go down. So now you lift the hand and drop, drop. Shimmy. Drop, drop. Shimmy. Now circle right. Double time. Drop the head. Shimmy. Chest. 
circle. Draw, hips, front, side, back, side. I'm not lifting my heels on this one. Front, side, back, side. Basically, it's breaking down the circle the same directions with, with sharp movements. So you're doing front and then side and then back and then side and front and then side and back and then side. So the legs are doing this, front, you're tucking in, side, you're kind of pushing one knee forwards as the other hip lifts, back, you push both legs back, you're bending the knees, lifting the tail, and then when it goes other side, this knee goes forwards, this one straightens. So it's side to side, one bends, other one straightens, so it goes side to side, side. When you go in front and back, you're gonna bend both knees to create this scoop. So you can use your tailbone easier. Here we go. Yes, from side, back, side, from side, back, side. Now go the other way. So we've got front, side, back, side, front, side, back, side, circle, double time. Other way. double circle this time we try to sit the circle if you can so we go sit down up and down and up other side up you don't have to go so deep but you're bending your knees now from side back Twisting a little bit more, there you go, and there you go, and drop. Now we're gonna push forward, so we've got hip, hip, hip. So you're pushing forward, so the foot comes forward, and you push the hip up, right? Again, left, right, left. The front foot doesn't touch the floor with the head here, so you can lift the hip up a bit more. Now add the arms. So you're gonna get the shoulders. So when you're going the hip forward, you're gonna drag the elbow, turn the palm out, and drag the elbow and turn the palm out. So you know, front, back, front, back. So we're gonna try to do that. I'll just show the sideways. Here we go. Left, right, left, right, left, right. Left, right. Let's start with your right side now. So I'm mirroring you, so you know that. So you go right, left, right, left. I'm going side to side with the hips, so it just really shakes a little bit more. Here we go. And yeah. Remember to drag the shoulders down. So you go up, and then when you go down, shoulder down. Yeah. So you go shoulder down, 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 so down, and down. Let me see if you can see my feet. Yes, that's better. So now you can try to see the arms at the same time. And when I start with the right leg, go to the left. Right, left, corner, right, left, turn to the back, right. Left to the side, right, left. And we start here. So when we're leading with the right leg, you're turning to your left, go to turn, go to turn, go to turn back to the beginning. So this left leg is turning you because that's the one that goes forward and you turn to step it to the side. Right, left, turn the left step to the side so the right leg can come forward. Left leg, turn, right leg, left leg, turn. 
Right, so we're gonna do that without the arms. Here we go. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, hold. There you go. So the left leg comes back to turn, core turn. Now I'm gonna add the arms. Six, five. Here we go, right leg. Right leg. Now stay here. We're gonna go left leg leading. So we go left leg forwards, right leg forwards, then you step quarter to the side, then left leg, right leg, quarter, left leg, right leg, quarter turn, left leg, right leg, and you're back to the beginning. Here we go again. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Right, hold. Now we're gonna try to involve the arms as best as we can. Arms up, shoulders down, wait for it. Here we go, left leg. And then left leg. Left leg. Left leg. And hold. I know it's really confusing when the arms and everything else come together, but we're gonna do it again. Left leg leading, we turn to the right. Here we are, left side. Shoulders pull down, palms turn out. Pull down with the shoulder and the palm turn up. Again. Now we get the right leg stuck. getting you used to it. I'm going to stop turning once I get busy. So I'm going to add those things we learned already. So we're going front, side, back, front, side, back, side, front, side, back, side, circle down, circle up, hip drops, drop, 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 again, drop, 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 right leg forward, right. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Back to the very beginning. So we're trying to lead from the other side. Circle left and up left. Now drop right. Again, we're gonna lead with the left leg this time. You ready? Forward. And stay your front side, back, side, front, side, back, side, circle, down, down, up, up, drop, 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 drop. right leg forward. Drop the hip. 
right leg forwards. Get some water. Amazing. So we're going to try to practice the same moves, and then we, we remind ourselves you're becoming a bit more used to them. So font here. From side, back, side, front, side, back, side, circle down, and up. Now we're going to drop the right, left, right, left, forwards, right. Again. One more. And then shimmy here. Tap and circle the arms back. Front side back. Circle. Drop. Front. And turn around, Shimmy. And hold here, relax. How is that? Getting together. Here we go, front side. This time, left, 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 shimmy, turn, good chest up, now the chest front, circle, Drop, chest front, circle, drop, shimmy, front side, back side, circle, and drop, and again, shimmy, drop, front side, back side, circle, and drop, let's do it again. Combination again, shimmy. Drop, front side, back side, and circle drop. 
and relax. Here we go. So relax and rest a little bit. We're gonna repeat it one more time, okay? We are starting with the right side. One side back. Circle down. Up. Right side drop. Left. Right side forwards. I did the wrong turn here. My back. And shimmy. Turn to the right. Maybe I didn't. I'm mirroring. This it becomes quite complicated. And stay here. Shimmy chest. One side, back side. Circle. Drop. Good. We go front side, back side here. Circle left. To the left. Left leg forwards. Left leg. Shimmy, drop, front side, back side, circle drop, other way, circle drop, circle drop, and circle drop, here we go, front side, sit down, up, hip, front, right, Turn to the right. Shimmy chest. Drop and circle drop. And there you go. Hopefully that's kind of taught you. So we just learned a lot of the same things, same rules. Idea is that you're grounding your feet here. We didn't do lots of ball of the foot. So it's more grounded on the triangle, okay? And we did isolations front back side to side and the same with the chest elongation of the spine is important we did the hip drops the heel and knees raised to drop the hip and then we did the hips forwards to turn so if you're leading right you're gonna turn right first right and there you go then you add the arms to it which is the arms here right left right left right Left, right, left. Here we go. You're coming back. And then there were the shimmies. So you can put this uh, music of your choice. Maybe try to copy to see whether you learned it today. So I hope that was okay. So, and also remember to engage your hands. So the lyrical hands, the more you hold the chest up and body upright, the better it's going to look. See you next week. Take care.